women, you have your money. Got your own money. I have been hearing this thing before I got married. It is until that I got onto the marriage that I now understand they should very well. Women, you have your money. Your husband's money, she's his more own money. Your own money is your own money. You need to be dependent on your own money, not the money of your husband. Everything that you want to do, women, you they want their husband to do everything for them. To buy bread for them, to buy salt for them, to buy magi for them, to buy karakab. But this is not fear, mana. This is pull your hands, mana. There is pride. There is dignation. There is selflessness on having your own money. There is my respect. Because the man, she's going to play you like football. She's going to treat you like a donkey, a jacky. By the time you are dependent on him, you become his slave. Because you are on his mercy, on his palms of the hand. So she's going to treat you anyhow because you depend on him to give you money. I have come to free the liberation for women. Marriage women especially. Work for yourself to get your money. Don't wait for your husband to do everything for you. Look at me. I am a classified marriage woman. I don't wait for my husband to do anything for me. I buy clothes for myself. I run the house. Okay? Even him. I am the one that gave him money to do whatever she want to do. That is why on my house, when I say this, that is what shall happen. And that is how marriage is supposed to be. Yes, that is how God she's questioned marriage to be. Woman, she's supposed to have power, not depend on man. My husband now, she cannot, I can travel anywhere. I can buy anything because I have my money. But when you don't have money, you are depending on your husband. You will have to wait for him to go and come back from any brief, from journey before my she's answer you. I know. No. Sorry, I'm going on. You are going so soon? Yes, Afa. Fine. Are you okay? Sorry for interrupting your video. <laughs> she said no problem. Okay? I'm fine. Baby, what's up the money that I saw you should give me? Which money? The money to buy maternal bras. The bra on my... Um, what you know, I sent you 200,000 last week. Why you talk? Something that you sent last. I have finished it, man. I'm not watching you. I, am I not your responsibility? You are supposed to be taking responsible of me. You provide for me. You buy for me anything that I want. I want to buy Vra. And I need money to buy Vra. I don't have money. My love, why not look for work? Now? She'll be somebody like you. I thought you want to be working so that you'll be getting your own money. Okay. God, she's going to prohibit it. I am a housewife for life. Baby girl for life, I've come to this world not to suffer. Super nurse is for you, the man. You make the money and you spend it on me. Um, You add 50000 on top of the money. Let me buy what it is. Since I'm going to market, I might see what That's I like. Point. There's the point. My husband, my husband. Since I'm going to the market, I, I will see what I would like and I shall buy it. I can't know supper. Wife of a big man, she's not supposed to be suffering. I've sent you one eighty thousand. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm a side chick, not collect you from me. Oh, bye bye. Be careful. <laughs> Yo, I'm welcome. Sorry for that little distraction. What was I must stop? Got your own money, woman. Don't depend on man for anything. Because when you depend on man for anything, that is the beginning of the destruction of your family. Got your money. Never open your mouth to ask a man for money. Because once you do that, see, finish, she's begun. The man, she's going to see you finish. In fact, she's going to bring other women onto your house because you, you are a liability. 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 Yes, liability, liability. So on today's episode, you learn something from Aisha Tolawal Odegu Bobo. Never ask a man for money, married women. Got your own money. Start business. Work. You are a human. Work. And cut up for yourself. And you see how the man is going to respect you. The man is not going to treat you like a zonkey. Just the way my husband, she don't treat me like a zonkey. I've never asked him and I will never ask him. See, Anjuma, chin on next week for more things on how to make your marriage work and sustainable of the marriage life that you will enjoy. Today I am speaking out of experience after my marriage for almost but it didn't a buddy. Say Angela Mutanina. Say Angela. Bye bye.